Welcome to Costco, where you can find the best deals on all your uh, calcium needs. In the next series of sketches, we'll learn a good deal about hypercalcemia with a cart full of memorable symbols, starting with a clinical presentation. But before we check out what's on sale, let's reach for a carton of milk high up on the shelf, representing hypercalcemia. And have a look at these contented bovines. The milk carton snapshots of such happy cows are a reminder that most patients with hypercalcemia don't have symptoms or are minimally symptomatic. In fact, hypercalcemia is typically an incidental finding, which means it's picked up when labs are done for another reason. All right, while all this dairy will come in handy for my trusty tres leches cake, you're in for a treat. Hopefully the seafood counter will inspire a dinner entree. Don't know exactly what I'm making yet. Not sure this attendant here will be of much help though. He looks a bit under the weather. Probably from handling contaminated crabs. A gloomy but convenient reminder that acute symptomatic hypercalcemia usually occurs in the setting of malignancy. Remember, the crab is our recurring symbol for malignancy. Maybe best to skip the raw crab samples today. The classic presentation of hypercalcemia is often referred to with a mnemonic, bones, stones, groans, and psychiatric overtones. Our poor crab tank worker seems to be familiar with most of these symptoms. Bones refers to bone pain, which is most often due to metastatic cells digesting bone and releasing calcium, which you can remember by the fish bone floating in the tank. Bone pain can also occur in the setting of benign etiologies involving increased bone reabsorption. This includes hyperparathyroidism, vitamin D intoxication, or prolonged immobilization. More on that in the next video. After bones, we got stones, which refers to nephrolithiasis, aka kidney stones. Uh, our symbol is a kidney-shaped stone, an unusual though apt aquatic decoration. Excess calcium precipitates in the urine, forming stones and causing painful blockages in the urinary system. Speaking of owies, ugh, seems like the special of the day comes with a pinch of crab on the side, or abdomen for that matter. And in addition to abdominal pain, patients may have nausea, vomiting, constipation, and rarely pancreatitis and peptic ulcer disease. And finally, his brain bandana represents neuropsychiatric symptoms, also known as psychiatric overtones. Patients often complain of fatigue and weakness, as well as anxiety and depression. But as hypercalcemia gets more severe, confusion, lethargy, or even a coma can occur. Outside of bones, stones, groans, and psychiatric overtones, there are a few other signs and symptoms to keep in mind. 